Hello. So I am drinking Earl Grey Moonlight. Never gonna entirely just. There we go. Earl Grey Moonlight. I'm excited. Ooh, now it won't adjust to me. Okay, there we go. I like Earl Grey's, but with Adagio, they've been hit or miss for me. Bella Luna, not so much. The dark side of Bella Luna, which they don't actually have for sale, and is an Earl, a Puer Earl Grey, was amazing. And all of us are very, very sad that they're not currently offering it to buy. So, my guess is that will change. So, that has a really strong bergamot flavor. This is three to five minutes. Yeah, my guess is I'm going to like it closer to five. Maybe I'll try it at all, though. Let's see. Ooh, that has a great smell. So, black tea, orange. Oh, I didn't show it to you. I'm sorry. I poured it in there. Kept it all for myself. I don't think you'll be able to see it in here. And if I pour it in my hand, I will get it all over. So, I am sorry. You did not get to see it. I think the big thing that's nice... Let me see if I can open this more. Maybe you can see it in the bag. Um, the one thing that's really nice in this tea is the blue cornflowers. So let's see if you can see it in the bag. Can you see that? Yeah, maybe if it decides to focus, you could. See those blue cornflowers in there? It's a pretty tea. It smells really nice. Blue cornflowers, vanilla flavor. Yeah, I can smell the vanilla. Mm. Natural bergamot flavor, natural cream flavor. Lovely. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This is probably my last black tea for the day. I may actually even drink some of this and then pour it in a thermos because I'm feeling a little wired. I've drank a lot of caffeinated teas today. I have a mystery tea. <laughs> so downstairs in my kitchen, my husband has made me a little like tea shelf. So it's got a doors that come off and you can put teas in them. And I have some tea bags, the bottom, I have no idea what they are. <laughs> they might be berries, um, like English breakfast or just plain black tea, uh, but they don't smell like black tea to me. So I had in my head that they were a, maybe a green tea that had less caffeine and I'm determined to figure out what they are. So I brewed it up and I just drank a big cup of it. I think it was black. <laughs> I think it had more caffeine than I thought in it because I'm feeling a little jittery at the moment. So I do think I'm taking my son to pottery this afternoon. What I might do is drink a little bit of this and pour the rest of it into a thermos to take with me to pottery to help keep me awake uh, his pottery class is he likes he likes sculpture he's not that interested in pottery although though it means i might get some cute mugs he's making one of those ugly face uh pots right now and some of those might actually glazed be good enough to use for mugs which would be so fun and cute and oh my god so he's making an ugly face pot mug thing uh, and he really likes that because he likes to sculpt things and there's not a sculpture class and she's willing to work with him. He doesn't really care about like ceramics in terms of pots and mugs and things like that, but he likes to make things. So I think he really, he, I know he loves this class because he also really likes the other kids that are in the class with him. They, they're very goofy kids. They have a lot of fun. It's a brother and a sister in there. This is pretty. This is a caramel. 
Still smells bergamotty. My guess is I'm gonna like this steeped a little bit more because this was uh, maybe a little over three minutes. That's nice. I'm surprised how astringent it is. So it really kind of dries your mouth out, which makes me a little worried about steeping it too much more, but I want to try it a little bit more steep. I'm not getting much other than the bergamot. I guess it's a little, it is a little creamier than most Earl Grey's, uh, but I do think this might be good with a little bit of oat milk. Uh, I do like me a London Fog. Um, it's one of the few things I add oat milk to. Few tea, one of the few teas I add oat milk to. Mm. Yeah, that's one actually I kind of want to run downstairs and pour into a thermos before it steeps much more uh, because I think it's, it's already pretty astringent. And I think steeped much more is going to get a little bit bitter. So I like this. This is really nice. This is a good Earl Grey, Earl Grey Moonlight. I, I bet it's the cornflowers that make it moonlight. Um, but it makes it a really pretty tea. And yeah, it's, it's a lovely Earl Grey. Um, I'm not real finicky about my Earl Greys most of the time. I, I like Twinings. That's what my husband drinks. I'm not... I'm not super picky about Earl Grey's, but uh, this, but that if they ever release the dark side of Bella Luna or the Puer Earl Grey, I'm I'm getting some right away. So, all right, I'm gonna go put this in a thermos. <laughs>